Target because it's my day off so I figured that I would treat myself I guess and just go do something kind of fun um, I'm going to a different location it's a little bit further away but I'm like it's my day off what is the big deal um because it's supposed to be like a, like a super target or something like that so I'm gonna go and see what they got and then I'll show you guys um today's Tuesday so Sunday night was my last night on nights um I was supposed to work nights through December those of you who don't know I just graduated nursing school um but I was supposed to work nights through December because they were short staffed there but then this other girl said that she wanted to work nights because she preferred it so now I am going on today's which I have mixed feelings about it and I definitely see why people like to start on nights um I just feel like you have more time to like think and there's like less people around and it's just not as crazy as days for the most part don't get me wrong I've definitely had some crazy nights on nights where I was like oh my gosh I just can't believe what's going on. I don't know I've had some crazy nights and there's like pros and cons to nights and days I'll definitely do a video on that for you because I know that I was looking up a ton of videos and stuff um, so I'll do one dedicated to that just because I have now done both for like a little bit um, but yeah I'm excited to be like a normal person like right now it's about 11 and I'm up getting ready to go to Target versus days that I work nights like you don't wake up until like 4 or so and I'll be kind of angry because I would like I like getting stuff done early in the morning so I would be so mad like on my days off I'd be like oh my gosh it's 4 o'clock I don't know just like stuff like that so yeah sorry I'm like going on a rant or whatever um but yeah it's really pretty it's like starting to be fall the trees are changing colors um yeah it's gonna be a good day and I'm gonna take you guys along with me um putting my intentions out there yeah so I don't really have anything else to say right now you guys I'm literally so proud of myself. I've been finding the best recipes on freaking Pinterest. I've been really looking out with the recipes that I've been finding on Pinterest because I feel like there are people that are good cooks and then there's also just like good recipes that you can find and like you just have to like hit or miss it but these are so good. There are these cocoa energy balls. Mm. So good. And this is just like a little rant or side comment food for thought but like the honey in this is made from like a local honey place and just recently i've been like really trying to like support local and like buy things from like local re or just buy things from local places like even like our eggs i've been looking for like farmers by us like to buy eggs from versus going to the grocery store and like the other day josh and i um, we went out to breakfast and I was like, I don't want to go to a chain restaurant. Like, I want to try to find, like, a restaurant that's, like, unique and stuff. And so we did, we found this, like, little restaurant and it was so cute and, like, the food was, like, fresh and all the food they bought from, like, local farmers and stuff. And then, like, they even had, like, board games for, like, little kids and, like, a lot of their stuff was, like, thrifted and it reminded me of, like, a restaurant up in the UP, like, where we go, where it's, like older and stuff and just like very homey and it was like a really cool experience and it just like made me like want to vote with my money and stuff and just do more stuff like that um when possible so that's something I'm going to be really more conscious about and then also I think I've talked about this before but trying to find like farmers um for like our meats and chickens and stuff instead of going to the grocery store just because I feel like it's just like good all the way around so I'm gonna start trying to do things like that. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got at Target today. I went to that Super Target and it was so good. Like I will drive there from now on. So I wanted these last year. I wanted like shoes for the winter time that I can like wear like every day that are not gonna get like wet from the snow because I live in Michigan and then like are just cute. So I got these and I think these are pretty in right now. And I was trying to try them out in the store, but I'm wearing like leggings on, so it's like black on black, which you can't really, I don't know, 
try them on the store they're cute i'll try them on real quick for you guys too because i want to see again what they look like but they're easy because you just like slide them on too I mean, it might be hard to see because they're like, like I said, black on black. So I have to try them on with like jeans or something. A little more contrast. This is like little two things in here. Random. Keep my receipt. This is the thing I'm most excited about. It was so cute. It was on clearance. It's this cute like little crossbody. And I'm just really into like neutrals and stuff. And it's got a pocket there. And then like an open pocket here and I just think it's super adorable and sometimes I don't want to carry like my huge purse and stuff you know so I thought this would be cute I really need to get like a mirror in this guest bedroom here I love that I think it's so adorable I'm also going to link my Poshmark down below because I've been trying to like get rid of a lot of like some of my stuff um so i'll link that down a lot of my stuff's like gently used and things like that so go check it out if you're interested in used items 20,022 got a calendar love calendars um journal this one's like a hardcover which i thought would be nice um i was debating getting between this and like a huge one but i didn't really want a huge one because i feel it's not functional I like the ones that have like the calendar on it, like the month, and then also have like the day to day because I like to write like the days I work on the calendar and everything and then just like things I have to do during the day on the other one. So got that. Um, I got coconut oil because I want to try to do like the coconut hair mask thing. Also, I get really dry scalp in the winter and the colder months. So I'm going to try doing that again. I tried it before and it made my hair like so or my scalp like super oily and I think it was just because I didn't like get all the oil out of my hair so I'm gonna try that again but when I was debating using this like on my body too for like a moisturizer because there's no chemicals and stuff in it but we'll see and I got some tooth floss because ran out of that and then these are so cute. I literally was in the aisle with like the uh, bathroom stuff for probably like five minutes deciding if I wanted to get these or not because our bathroom isn't like redone how I want it to go. But once we redo it how I want it to be, these are going to be like perfect in there. So I'm like, Alex, you have to get it because every time that I like don't get it, I'm like, oh, I don't need it right now. And then you need it in the future it's like so annoying so i love these so much so this is like the little soap dispenser um uh, i don't know if it's really picking up on camera the color it's like a cream but so freaking cute and then i just got the matching toothbrush holder and then i wasn't gonna get this because i'm like what do people use this for it's like the canister thing and i'm like i guess i could put like q-tips hair ties like things like that and just have it or like face pads and stuff um, if I wanted to. But yeah, I think they're so cute. So that's everything I got. And I think I'm gonna go do like a little DIY um, spray paint base thing, cause it's like pink and I kinda wanna turn it black. So I think I'm gonna do that here in a second and I'll just take you guys with me and see how it turns. Another day. Today is Thursday. If you're one of the first 20 callers, we'll add a bonus. Today is Thursday. This vehicle is in demonstration mode. Connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. My car does that literally every single time I turn it on. 
And it's really annoying. Josh actually like, called the place and tried to have it shut off and they said they did, but it didn't work. And I'm honestly so used to hearing it, but it is kind of annoying. But anyway, today's my day off. I'm switching from night shift to day shift. I worked yesterday day shift, which was the first um, time I've worked day shift in like a month or so. And it went really good. It was a good day. Um, definitely still getting in the swing of things because there's like admissions, discharges. Um, there's just like a lot more going on in the day sometimes. Um, but yeah. But my body needed to sleep in until noon today apparently and like I wasn't able to even go to bed until like 1 in the morning yesterday. So yeah, it's a struggle switching. Just like Josh said, I feel like it's easier to switch from days to nights Ugh. than from nights to days. But anyways, I work tomorrow, which is Friday, and then I have like six days off. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Um, but I'm going to get a coffee right now because I never do that and I just wanna treat myself to a yummy coffee. I don't know what it is, but there's literally just something about getting a coffee from a coffee shop that is so good. So I'm gonna go to Big B and I think I'm just gonna get a cold brew with sweet foam on top, sweet cream, sweet foam on top, I don't know. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I've never had that before. I usually get the caramel cream cold brew with sweet foam from there, but it like hurts my stomach. Um, so yeah. And then today is literally just gonna be probably like a chill day. Like I think I'm going to do that spray paint thing I was talking to you guys about. And I might try to finish painting the hallway walls because I keep saying I'm gonna do it and I don't do it. <laughs> and I'm like, today's just like a, just like a chill day, I feel. Um, usually I'm like, always make things to do all day, but I've been reading and stuff and it's not good to do that all the time. Sometimes it's good to just relax. So even though painting stuff is not relaxing at all, it's very stressful, but <laughs> it's still just like not doing a bunch of errands and stuff like that. So that's the plan so far. I'll probably try to like read my book and stuff and just do things around the house. What do you guys like to do on your days off? Like, I know like the first day you have off for a while, like I feel like that's spent like cleaning the house and like going to the grocery store, doing laundry and like catching up on all the things. But like on your second day off or like whatever, like what do you like to do? Or are there certain things that you make sure that you do do? I know what one of the girls I work with, um, she was saying that today she is like getting her hair done and her nails done and stuff. And I'm like, that's such a cute day because it's like you're pampering yourself. Um, but yeah, I was just wondering like, are there certain things that you like make sure you do? Like maybe you go to the gym or something, which I should probably work out today too. But I'm just curious cause I'm, I don't know. I just wonder. Do you ever wonder like, okay, this is so, so stupid, but I think about this all the time. So like when you're driving, this is literally so freaking stupid, but I, yeah, I'm just going to share with you guys. Um, whenever I'm driving, just any time of the day, like I look at like all the cars that I'm passing and I'm like, wow, like they have like their whole life that they're living. Like, I wonder what they're doing right now. Like, are they going to work? Like going to the grocery store their child soccer game like I wonder like what they're up to right now or like even when I drive like super late like to Traverse City or something like that to visit my family just like the odd times that you're driving I always wonder like huh like what are you doing like do you were you just working or are you going on vacation too or I just think stuff like that sometimes so yeah that's Alex's goofy thoughts. <laughs> but yeah, it's really pretty today. I love fall. My little pumpkins. My goddess. All right, so this 
is the vase. I got it like a few years ago from Target and I love it a lot, but like pink is just not my vibe for the house and I figured out I like neutrals better. So I'm going to spray paint it. This is the before. I think I'm going to do it upside down or maybe I should just do it upside up. I don't know. Maybe I'll put you guys like right there. And then I'm just going to use this matte spray. It's got like a paint and primer in it. So I'm going to let that dry for like an hour or two and then do um, another coat. I feel like the trick from what I've learned is just to do like light mists on stuff that you spray paint or else if there's too much it like drips and stuff. So that's what I'm going to try for this one. But this is what it looks like after the first coat. You can see there's still like pink areas and then I'm going to have to do like around there but... I'm gonna need another SIM card. There's a person. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I already told you, and it's not a SIM card, it's a card. SD card. Come on. Come on, guy. Come on. Day. We figured we'd come out and walk Malachi today because it's a nice day outside. It's like 70 degrees. Found this new trail. Never been on it. Well, we found this park that's like by our house because we've been getting bored, or I've been getting bored just walking him around the house. Oh boy. So it's kind of nice Malachi. to like go on new little trails versus just like the same one over and over. Gives him some new smells. Yeah, he's crazy. Like, he's he loving life. Yeah. Like he doesn't know what to do with himself, but yeah, it's a really nice day. There's like a skate park here. Oh, he's perp run. But there's like a skate park here, <laughs> kids playground and all that stuff. A sled hill. Yeah, there's like a cool sled hill. Two nature trails. Yep. And it's really pretty outside. Can't See, it's gonna die. What? Battery? Mm -hmm. I ain't charge it, fool. Alright, I'm trying to get better at unwrinkling my clothes before I hang them up because there's nothing worse than going to put something on and then you're like, Frick, I can't because it's all wrinkly. So this is just like a portable steamer. I don't have a current or a iron board, so I usually just like use this and hold it up. It's kind of inconvenient sometimes, but it does the job. All right, and if you guys watch Holly Gabriel, she's a YouTuber and she posts like nursing content and stuff. I really love like her a lot. She mentioned this boutique called Pink Lily and I've been looking for like a basic tops and stuff that are like really flattering. And so I ordered like these body or this bodysuit. It's like a white, just a white bodysuit. And 
Ugh, I cannot talk but it's just like a white bodysuit and like the material of this stuff is literally like incredible like um once I save up some more money I'm definitely gonna order like different colors and I feel like these are just staples to have like your white t-shirt black t-shirt just solid color that you can wear under cardigans under like a jean jacket leather jacket it's good in the fall the summer um so I wish you guys could feel it but it's like super good quality and I feel like I think this was only like $20 and if you go on YouTube, you can find like coupon codes and stuff. So that's what I did. So I got this one. Um, it's my first order from there, but I'll definitely be ordering more. Um, Cause you know how sometimes when you order from boutiques, it's like hit or miss and they are more expensive, but you're like supporting like a business or whatever. Um, but like the quality is there and that's kind of what I've been looking for. And then, so this is like the same material, but it's like a long sleeve v-neck. And then this one's just a little different. It's got it's a long sleeve v-neck as well, but I don't know if you can tell the sleeves are like a little bit more dressy, like they're tight fitted here and it's loose. So this is like dressier than just like this plain tight all the way down. So those are the ones I got from Pink Lily. And then I got this little, whoops, this little, um, little crop top in like a tan color which is cute just for like with joggers to wear around the house or if you're working out and stuff like that but i'm not kidding you guys like the quality is here from this boutique so i'm super excited because i've been trying to kind of be like more simple like having basics and then like dress it up with like jewelry or like just like a jacket or something like that um kind of more minimalistic with my clothes um so yeah this I'm gonna put this stuff away and then have some dinner. All right, and I made for the first time some chicken tortilla soup. It's pretty easy, I hope it tastes good, it smells good. And put some cilantro and avocado in it. It's like, whoop, let's see. It's like the best part about fall is crock pot meals because it's super easy. Just put all the vegetables and everything in there and then let it cook all day and it makes a bunch. This is definitely going to be going into the recipe book. I put like a jalapeno in it. It called for like a whole jalapeno. Um, and I'm, it's definitely got a little bit of a kick to it, but it's pretty good. I would definitely make this again. Low carb too. It's just got chicken, zucchini, onion, fire roasted tomatoes chicken stock and then i think it was like oregano pepper salt um avocado oil and i honestly think that was all and i just put i guess you could do like sour cream cheese and stuff if you wanted to but i try to stay away from dairy um i definitely still eat ice cream and like stuff like that but it makes me like break out like growing up I had like really bad cystic acne like all over my chin and everything and I went to the dermatologist and everything like that and nothing worked for me it was on like a whole bunch of different cleansers creams I think I even took like a pill for a while and literally nothing worked for me and I was just googling on the internet one time like natural ways or something to like cure acne and I saw something about dairy in it and so I tried to give it a go and literally my acne like cleared up it's crazy so I don't know why in some people it just like causes like inflammation and stuff in your body but um if you struggle with acne i would recommend giving that a try because my poor mom's probably spent so much money on me and literally there's nothing worse than having like pimples on your face like it's very it definitely hurts your confidence and everything 
So I feel for people because it was not a very fun time in my life and that's when I started loving makeup because that was the only thing that made me feel better. Um, but obviously when you wear makeup, like you can still tell that there's stuff on your face, but um, it sort of hides like the redness, but I would definitely give that a go if you have like cystic acne. I don't know how people just like film themselves eating because I'm gonna probably cut out all the ones of me taking bites because it just feels so weird to have like a camera while I'm eating food. But this is really good. So I just wanted to sit down really quick and be real with you guys. So for those of you that are new to the channel, I am a newly graduated nurse. And I mean, this might be going in the middle of the vlog, so probably no reason to do an introduction, but here we are. Um, so tomorrow I go back to work after having like a six day stretch off. I look literally bald, but I have my hair <laughs> in one of these things. Um, anyways, so I go back to work tomorrow after having like a six day off stretch, which is what is amazing about being a nurse is yes, you work really long days and you can't really do anything the days that you work, but it does allow for you to have more days off than the typical like nine to five where you work five days in a row. Um, Granted, you still work weekends and stuff like that, so it's just kind of like pros and cons of stuff. But I have a lot of anxiety about going to work tomorrow. It is my first day off of orientation on day shift, and I was on nights alone, but then a different girl wanted the night position, so then they put me on days. Um, I think I was on nights alone for like a week and nights and days is like way different um so i just have a lot of anxiety about going into work tomorrow and a lot of people say that it takes like six months to a year to feel comfortable as a new nurse and i just feel like this is something that wasn't really talked about like during nursing school and until you're experiencing it firsthand it's like honestly a very terrible feeling because you're caring for patients and you're the nurse and you're supposed to know like what you're doing and everything but nursing school does not prepare you for real life because nursing school it literally I feel like all not all we did but like a big portion of what we did was like aid work which you know like you're bathing patients and you're turning them helping them to the bathroom taking their vital signs like all that stuff, which is very important. And I still do that as a nurse today. But like, I feel like as a nurse, you need more of like the looking at their lab values. What do these orders mean? When do you call the doctor? Um, time management, like all that stuff. And just like a lot more stuff is like on your plate and your shoulders as a nurse. So yeah, I just have like a lot of anxiety and I'm just really excited for the day that I like go into work not dreading it. Um, once I get there, it's usually fine, but I always had someone right there if I had questions and stuff, which I mean, I still do like there's coworkers and stuff like that, but it's just different like when you're on your own because, you know, it's just different. So I just kind of wanted to share that real quick. Um because I just feel like there's probably other people that feel the same way or maybe you are like a seasoned nurse and you felt the same way when you were new so I just kind of want to share that because it was like on my mind and I'm trying to like stop thinking about it today because like today is my day off and so I don't want to spend my whole day like anticipating tomorrow and going to work tomorrow like I want to enjoy today so I'm gonna bring you with me to do a chore that I've been needing to do for a freaking long time, but I keep putting it off because I hate doing it. 
and my husband just got this new tool that works really good so i'll show you guys we're gonna go clean the car which to the normal person that doesn't have a dog that sheds is like okay cool clean the car yeah to a person that has um a husky a lab any dog that has a lot of hair that rides in your car yeah it's really not it's worse than vacuuming your house so i'm gonna bring you guys with me and i will show you the before and after all right so got all the hair on the seats he doesn't sit in the trunk but it gets in the trunk and the main part that's like super annoying and super hard to get out is like the crevices so it's like all that freaking crap so I'm gonna show you what I do all right so I don't know like how much battery and stuff I have but I just want to show you this tool so this is called the lily brush um, and it's literally just like silicone material so this thing literally works so good and I'm gonna show you guys real quick how it works. Maybe I'll go to the other side because I tested it out the other day. So, these crevices that are like way too hard, like this handheld vacuum cleaner does not suck it up. So, the Lily brush, you literally just take it and you know, you can squeeze your hand in here pull the hair pull it down get all the creases and then you just vacuum it up because it gets like all the tough the tough hard to reach areas and it's like literally effortless and it's actually crazy like it's actually crazy and then the other device that works super good, which I found from this person on YouTube, I don't remember their name, um, is the Puma Stone. So this thing basically does the same thing, just different. Um, and it just gets up like, put my foot on it, gets up like all the hair. So basically like what you do is you just like pull it all out. Like I'll show you here. Because it makes the vac like it, the vacuum cleaner doesn't have to work as hard when you like lift it all up. So, let's see you guys here, and you just take it and vacuum it. Oh, I forgot. I didn't use it yet today, but um, this is another tool that Josh found that's actually pretty freaking cool. It's called the Chom Chom. Um, so basically, I guess it uses like, I don't know why I'm focusing. Um, it uses like static electricity or something like that, I don't know, to get fur off things, and it works super good. So, I kind of clean this a little bit, but let's see. Like, so you just like move it back and forth. Wait. Okay. Well, I suck and I'm not gonna be able to t show you guys how to use it, but you move it back, like back and forth and it like sucks up the hair and like this like red thing comes out um if you're interested in it like comment down below and i'll make sure next time i clean to do a video using this but what we found though is it works really good on like this type material but then like your seats um whatever material this is it doesn't really grab it as much as this um but i've used it on our bed and i know like uh couches like the not leather couches but like um cloth couches or whatever it works really good on that too 
it's kind of crazy um and it's cool because it's like reusable um and yeah it's got that silicone actually i'm noticing like right here too but basically goes back forth back forth back and forth and then it goes in to this like huge compartment here so those are like the three must have tools for cleaning and i'm gonna get back and um wipe down like all the sides and stuff and the windows from him but another thing is for me personally uh and it's probably like this with kids too but when you have animals and stuff like things get clean but not like clean so you just have to like be like this is like as clean as it's gonna get type thing like there's always gonna be lingering hairs in my car and it's not gonna stay clean for very long but it just like feels good to know that it's like not like super dirty so yeah comment down below if you can relate <laughs> and stuff too so yeah